What's going on ladies and gentlemen, how are you doing today? I hope you're excited. Today we're ripping into a highly box of 2022-23 OPG Platinum. Yes, I ripped open one of these on release day. I decided to go ahead and pick up another one because I got it for a decent price. I ended up paying $200 Canadian plus tax for this. And for all the cards you get out of here, I figured that was worth it considering you get one autograph card and most of them are uh, on card autos as well and five numbered cards. Gonna be tracing after those golden treasure autos, those one on ones. Uh, Uri Slavkovsky, Matty Beniers, Shane Wright, some other good names in here, as well as like Matt Boldy, Wyatt Johnson's really surged up here during the playoffs. So, yeah, let me know in the comments below your guys' opinion on OPG Platinum. They have had some quality control issues with centering and stuff. We'll see if our box has any centering issues today. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's completely free. Change your mind anytime. Drop a like on this video if you enjoy. Make sure you follow us over on Instagram at our sports cards. Without further ado, it's ripping into this hobby box of 2022-23 OPG Platinum. Okay, we got all 12 of our packs here. Let's see what we get. Hopefully we got a better auto than last time. That's the thing with these boxes. For the most part, unless you get a nice auto, probably not gonna get your money back. All right, last time we got the auto on the very first pack, hoping to avoid it here. Uh, like to save some suspense till the end. Looks like we'll start off with a retro rainbow by the looks of it. But first we got a, some base marquee rookies there. Hunter Drew on the base, Victor Loden there on the base. It looks like we got a retro rainbow. Hey, oh, Jason Robertson. I thought it was Wyatt Johnson there at first. Jason Robertson, not bad though. In behind looks like uh, it's gonna be galvanized there of Kent Johnson. And in behind that, we have a dyke. Oh no, it's another retro, just a normal retro there of Cam Atkinson. Nothing too crazy there in pack number one. See if we get anything here in pack number two. See if we got our first number card. We got something here. It looks like a either sunset or a red. It looks like it's a sunset. Can't exactly tell, but first off, we're probably going to have some marquee rookies there. Alex Vlasic there on our first one. Lucas Reichel, not bad there. Marquee rookie there of Elmer Soderblom. Looks like this is going to be a photo driven of Gabriel Landeskog. And we do have a sunset, uh, but first we got a retro there of Philip Grubauer. And our first parallel is going to be a sunset. It's going to be a base sunset there of Mark Shifley. The sunset inserts aren't numbered anything. Oh, looks like we got our first numbered card here. Is that a violet? pixel oh no that, that's not a number card that's one of those uh neon pinks i think these are one per box so see what our neon pink's gonna be first though we got a base marquee rookie there of uh, a mama if i said that right uh, another base marquee rookie there and then a that's a nice one base marquee rookie there of wyatt johnson our next insert's gonna be another photo driven a connor mcdavid that's a nice one though we'll take all connor mcdavid inserts all day alexis lafreniere retro and then we got a marquee rookie so if it's a good rookie this could be an okay card and nope it's gonna be Declan Chisholm there so that's unfortunate yeah these aren't numbered or anything but matte pinks are what they're called and yeah they're all right three packs in here still looking for our first numbered card see what we have here another matte pink so maybe I was wrong about the one per box thing we definitely have another matte pink coming up first though our bases are going to be Blankenberg uh, another Chisholm there and our last base is going to be Jack Quinn another good rookie uh, first insert's gonna be a sweet selections there, Shane Wright, so that's a rookie there uh, on the Shane Wright there. That's actually kind of cool. You can see the draft logo in behind there. I like that card. In behind, it's gonna be a retro of Matt Boldy, and we got another matte pink here. It's just gonna be a base matte pink of uh, Chandler Stevenson there. Through stack number one, we don't have a single numbered card yet, so we'll see when we get our first one. Oh, looks like we got it here. It looks like it's a red prism. If that's an auto, that would be pretty low numbered. I think it's a red prism. Maybe it's a violet pixels. Can't really tell uh, just yet. We'll take a look here. First, though, we got a marquee rookie there of Michelli, another one of Hollowell, and our last one's going to be Holmberg. Up first, our insert is going to be another photo driven there, Igor Shosturkin. Uh, we got a rainbow in behind that. I'm pretty sure it's a red prism maybe it's about pixels i can't really tell uh, we got a rainbow there of spencer knight and our first numbered card let's see if it's autoed uh it's a rookie at least i think it's a violet pixels uh i don't think it's autoed though who's oh okay we will definitely take that i'm pretty sure it's a violet pixels so it's not gonna be yeah, it's a Violet Pixels there. 88 of 299, but Wyatt Johnson, not a bad name at all to get right now. Uh, yeah, I like that a lot. I'll take Wyatt Johnson every day. The centering actually doesn't look too bad on this one. It looks like it's actually in pretty good shape. On the back, you can see it's off a little bit. It's definitely shifted a little more this way, but on the front, uh, yeah, it is off on the front a bit. You can see it's definitely more to the left than the right. Uh, but yeah, overall, I think it's in all right shape besides the centering. <laughs> 
So yeah, can't complain at all there with our first numbered card. Wyatt Johnson got it, love it. Up next, looks like we got another rainbow coming up. But first, we got Dylan Gunther, we got Fajamo, and we got Matt Boldy there on the base rookies. Got sweet selections there of Perot. He's now with the Montreal Canadiens, of course. Uh, rainbow there, base rainbow of Matt Duchesne. And what is this? Is this going to be our auto? Yes, okay, so we got a rookie auto. Looks like it's a base rookie auto. Hopefully it's not Fajamo again like last time. Base rookie auto. It's got some print lines on it. I can see as well. Who do we have here? That's black. Is it Gunther? Oh, it's Philly. It's not gonna be good. Isaac Ratcliffe there. Yeah, so not a very good one. Once you get a base rookie auto here out of platinum, probably not great. The Johnson's nice. This not so nice as you guys can see. It's pretty damaged as well with the print line. So yeah, that's rough. Hopefully you can get some other good numbered cards. Especially halfway through this box now. We've got one auto. Well our only auto and one numbered card so far. So we should be getting four numbered cards out of these last uh, six packs. So looks like, uh, do we have one here? I can't, I think it's a sunset. We got another sunset here. So not gonna be one in this pack most likely. Carson Mayer there on the base, Hollander, as well as Matt Sogard. Our first inserts, another photo driven there of Aaron Ekblad, a retro of Quinn Hughes and our sunset. It's gonna be a murky rookie. It's gonna be Yusuf O'Parson in there. So that's all right, but yeah, not a numbered insert. All right, next up, what are we looking at? Is this another sunset? Oh, we got a liquid metal here. These are numbered at three ninety nine, I think. Yeah, not great uh, to see those. We're looking for seismic golds or like anything super low numbered. Haven't seen any of that yet. We got Paschal there on the base, Ben Myers, EC Mont, and our first insert's gonna be uh, galvanized Kale McCarr. Uh, in behind, we got a retro there of Jacob Lauko. Our sunset is going to be a base sunset there of Alex Nedeljkovic back on the Red Wings. And our second number card of the box is going to be a liquid metal base of William Carlson. So it's kind of interesting, the color match there, uh, just kind of the way it worked out. But uh, yeah, like I said, out of 349, number seven, so pretty, pretty low uh, serial number there. But yeah, not the best insert. So four packs left. We need three numbered cards besides the Johnson. Not a whole lot going on here. We got a third number card. It's gonna be a hot magma. These are the these have the largest print run on them. They're numbered to 499, I believe. There's Radcliffe there, our auto, Samberg, and Arbor Jack IA. I'll take that for the PC. We got a galvanized special. Oh, we got another rainbow coming up. Rainbow A, William Carlson. And our hot magma is gonna be a rookie. No, a base hot. Oh, okay. We'll take that though. Hot Magma of Connor McDavid probably doesn't have a ton of value, but anything numbered McDavid, we will take. Hot Magma, 12 out of 4.99 there. So yeah, the Connor McDavid insert, I will be happy with that. If you're gonna get a Hot Magma, I want it to be either one of the top rookies or that man right there, Connor McDavid. So happy with that. Oh, we got another Violet Pixels here, so another one out of 2.99. Hopefully it's another rookie. Hopefully it's another banger. Uh, we got a base marquee rookie there of Lucas Dostal down on the bottom. Uh, another one of Pustin and Seasick. Our first insert's gonna be a photo driven there of Brad Marchand. A rainbow, marquee rookie rainbow. This could be decent. Mm, Ty, Tyler Tucker there, so yeah, not very great. Let's see if our Violet, Pix our Violet Pixels is another rookie. See if we get Slavkovsky, that'd be nice. Let's see Montreal colors. Uh, could be, nope. That's, uh, who's that? Uh, I can't think of it. Riley Walsh, yeah, that's not very good. Unfortunately there, not a very good one. Riley Walsh there, by the Pixels, 114 of 299. So yeah, hopefully our last numbered card is something low numbered because we've got four cards, uh, very high numbered. Final two packs need one more numbered card. Do we have it here? We do, it looks like it's a red prism. These are at 199, I believe. 199 here on the red prism. Uh, I think they are, if they're autoed, they're two a little less, but Kent Johnson there on the base, another Riley Walsh, uh, a Ronnie Attard, our first insert, another photo driven there of Marc-Andre Fleury. Uh, we got a rainbow up next, or marquee rookie rainbow of Owen Power. We'll take that, that's a decent pull. Might have a tiny bit of value. Is our red prism a rookie as well? It is not, it's gonna be a base. So let's hope for a, a good name, Buffalo. Tage Thompson, that's not terrible. It's not great, but Tage Thompson, that's eh, whatever. But this box, I think it's gonna end up being okay. 50 out of 199. We got one more pack, who knows, maybe there's a bonus auto in there.
Okay, last pack. I have had uh, numerous boxes of OPG Platinum with six numbered cards. So, see, oh, like I said, there it is. A number card number six, another hot magma. So, we'll take that. First, though, Sandine, Matty Benier is one of the top rookies. Uh, Eric Schalgren. We got sweet selections there. Braden Tracy, another rainbow. This one's going to be Pavel Buchanevich. And is this a rookie? No, it's a hot magma of JT Miller, a number to $4.99. So, overall, this was a decent box. Definitely not great definitely not good i would say it was very average if we got a good to decent auto i think this would have been a good box but yeah overall just some average numbered cards own power there on the rainbow rookie the only non-numbered card i top lord tage thompson there on the red prism at a 199 riley walsh violet pixels at a 299 the mcdavid at a 499 might have a bit of value that's a nice one there uh it's probably the second best pull to the white johnson the william carlson there liquid metal out of uh 349 the radcliffe auto kind of whatever just a couple dollars auto there that's kind of tough why johnson probably the pull of the break violet pixels that's a nice card i like that one a lot and then gt miller on the hot magma so yeah let me know what you guys think about opg platinum uh down in the comments below uh i i don't I don't mind it at this price point. I still think it should be a little lower. Like once, if this stuff was 175, I think that's very fair because there is some big upside with some uh, some of these cards here, especially the numbered stuff and the autos and such. So yeah, I really like the design of OPG Platinum. Let me know your guys' thoughts down in the comments below. Like I said, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. It's completely free. Change your mind at any time. Drop a like on this video if you enjoyed. Make sure you follow us on Instagram, Alex Sports Cards, and thank you all so much for watching. Take care, everybody. Have a good one.